have made it to the final day of the cage. In for 20,000 after two flights, sitting on just over 25,000 USD. But we can't just cash out now, that's the beauty of the cage. We got nine hours of actual gameplay ahead of us today with escalating blinds. I think we're at the feature table where it's gonna be on live stream on Twitch. And I predict a big hand between me and Chris Moneymaker. Let's get him. He had his one time 20 years ago, it's my time. All right. Yeah. This is our competition. It's gonna be a very lucrative day. One hour later. I think we should get Moneymaker to come over. No shirts allowed. He needs to just come over exactly <laughs> like that and play the rest of the day. I mean, he's borderline getting a sponge oil bath at the table while watching Netflix. Boski <laughs> really Boski's trying to just hide trying his not eyes to there, look. you can see. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. All right. 90 minutes down, many more minutes to go. Very eventful. First level. Lost every pot for the first uh, hour. Pretty frustrating. 25K stack went down to uh, under 20 real quick. The stakes are high, and so is the pressure. With blinds at 4080, we're still five-handed. Chris Moneymaker opens to 200. He's got a very loose opening range. My plan is to trap him. We looked down at 6-4 off in the big blind. We're getting a great price with the ante, so we put in the call. Definitely our bottom of our defending range. Let's flop big and stack him. Flop big, we do 8-6-4, two hearts. We got bottom two. Kind of dangerous, kind of precarious, but it's okay. We're going to set the trap and pretty much just call down on any run out. We're gonna let him bluff. After we check, he bets 200, and we're gonna stick with the plan and put in the call. Let's hope for a safe turn. The turn is the ace of hearts. The flush comes in. It's pretty hard to make a flush. More likely he has an ace X type holding, and our bottom two is still good. Definitely don't want to check raise here. He does bet $500 though. So we're gonna stick with the plan once again and just check call pretty much any run out. See if, he can, see if we can catch him with his hand in the cookie jar. We feign weakness, and eventually we put in the call. $500. Brick on the river, one-time dealer. And the river is an offsuit jack. Let's see, he has ace jack, jack eight. We should still be good. Few flush combos, not very likely. He thinks about it. Starts playing with his chips. Is he going to go for it? This is the 2003 main event champ we're talking about here. Grab some plaques and some chips and bets 1800 USD. What do you do with bottom two? All two pairs beat us. Flush beats us, but we've come this far. Should we have just folded preflop or do we have them right where we want them? I ask him a few questions, try to get a live read. He gives nothing away. My gut is not loving it, but let's keep him honest. The clock is ticking. We have five seconds left. Line up 1800 USD and we put it in the middle and we see the bad news, which is King nine of hearts, the flush. Nice suck out, Chris. Congratulations. And we lose a big one. You live and you learn. And after losing every pot and uh, probably over $5,000. Yeah, well over $5,000 in our stack. We're pretty tilted. The constant beeping of the timers is really fucking with my OCD and I'm about to lose it, but I'm stuck here in the cage. I cannot cash out. I have to keep playing. I have to make good decisions. I can't just fold every hand and blind out. Chris Moneymaker opens to 200 at 48010. Button calls. I'm in the small blind with pocket sixes. We put in the call. Casey from Storage Wars folds the big blind. There were three ways to a flop. Flop a set, please. One time. Jack six five. All diamonds, baby. We got him. With my luck, someone has a flush, and I'm going broke. Checks to Moneymaker, who bets 300. Button folds. We just put in the smooth call. We want to stay under-repped, play some boards, make sure a fourth diamond doesn't pop off. I know this guy likes to blast off. I got insider info to just check call this guy down no matter what, which I did earlier in the hand de detailed with the 6-4 offsuit. The turn is gin, not quads, but the boat ski. A jack on the turn. We jacked him. Hopefully he's got something like ace jack. We check and he sizes up to 1100 quickly. Do we just call or do we put in the check rizzle? 
What are our bluffs? Is the plan to check raise the river all in? Is that ever a bluff? We could have some bluffs on this turn. So let's go for it. 3,500 is the check raise amount. He quickly calls. No jack on the river, dealer. The river's an offsuit for a brick. He could have pocket fives. The question is, with 13 or 14,000 in our stack, what is the correct bet size here? I use exactly two time banks, just as I did when I chickened down with the ace 10 non-river bet. He's looking for live tells. I'm looking at him, and we decide on all in, baby. Polarizing our hand strength. What are our bluffs? Probably ace, diamonds, X. What are our value? Boat skis and flush skis. He goes deep into the tank. He said he's never used a time bank, yet he just burned two. Are we going to get paid? Are all of our losses going to be recouped in one hand? He eventually shows ace of diamonds and a jack in folds. Never felt so owned in my life. I don't get to see one? Show me one. I didn't do it. And we're going to the feature table. 90 minutes down, many more minutes to go. You can find this on Twitch at ACR Poker. See you guys on there. Hopefully we got some good highlights. We got to get back in the action. We're going to the feature table. Live stream with Chris Moneymaker. Oh yeah, the hot seat. The heat. Take those Moneymaker shit. Oh, and look at that. Husky. Look at that, baby. Oh, we we we, still, well, we switched a whole lot of faces. I believe we might have Moneymaker there, maybe, with or without shirt. We're going to find out. The blind's at. 4080, we're on the live stream table. The lights are hot and the action is fast and furious. There's none of the gun open. There's a call. I'm on the button with the A7 of diamonds. Good three bet. But this deep with the uh, nut flush possibilities, we just call on the button with position. Casey Fold, small blind, Chris Moneymaker defends. Flop comes, ace, eight, deuce, one diamond. Checks to me, I assume I have the best hand, so I bet $225. Chris Moneymaker wants to tell me I do not have the best hand and makes it $900, I believe. With the backdoor diamonds, I don't think we can fold just yet. We put in the call. Heads up to a turn, which is a deuce. Eliminates all but one combination of pocket deuces in his range. You could still have pocket eights, ace eight, or ace deuce. He sizes large, 2,500. What's he revving? Could fold here, but I figure if I call here, he's never going to bluff the river. His bluffs would be 3-4, three, 3-5, four, three, and 4-5. The river is a six. A complete brick. He bet six thousand oh, dollars. Six dimes. Bet sorry. Six thousand. Button Sponge Jeff Boski to chug. the test. Third of his stack. Boski has to decide: Do yeah, I have kicker problems, or is Money Maker just getting out of line? It is very ill-advisable to call a check raise followed by two barrels with just one pair, no kicker, but. This is Chris Moneymaker, fresh off a massage with the shirt on. Hard to know. Could be on the other side of those two paint cards. Would he unload the clip? Would he assume that I'm going to fold an ace? For me to call 2,500 on the turn, I, I can only guess that this is pure value. It'd, it'd take a crazy man to be continue bluffing with the miss real draw. Eight doesn't make any sense. Deuce is possible, although who check raises a deuce here? So we go through about 10 time banks, as you can see on stream. Boski's really going to have to reach down deep to find this call, but if he does, I will be thoroughly impressed. As I mentioned, it's unlikely that Chris has a better ace given the preflop action, but he can still have ace eight, ace deuce, a deuce. He can have eight three, he can have eight deuce. I love Boski in the tank here. Three time cards really taking his time to make this decision. Even Casey thoroughly involved in this pot, staring both players down. This is great. Got 13,000 and change in the middle. Ten, sir. They are biggest pot of the day thus far. I'm on the edge of my seat right here. This is intense. Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm putting Chris in the 
popped in the blender. Look, Chris is just sweating. It's like, come on. Interesting. Right, so and I wonder if Boski's going to be using that for a read. Mm. I love this. <laughs> this is amazing. At one point, he's going to run out of time bank cards, and it's going to be the other cards, the plaques, that are going in. Up when he called the <laughs> this is the best stand I've ever seen. Chris checking out. He's got about five minutes of nap time, assuming Boski uses all of them. At this point, you can't really blame him. <laughs> so what do you What do you think, Justin? Will Will all the time banks be used for this decision? I think at this point, it's just the principle. I say we burn every one of them and then call. Boski does find the call here. He's going to be sitting on over 32,000 in the top 10 of the entire field. We're now at the point he has more time banks in play than in his remaining stack. How many has he got left there? Three? Okay. Three. Just three. Uh, Already exactly. used, what, 12? Oh. And he folds? Oh no! Uh, wow! Fold, fold, fold. Call full time bank! <laughs> and we put in the fold. He tells me, good fold. He had eight deuce. For the boat ski. Can we just get confirmed? <laughs> had eight deuce. Had eight deuce. There we go. He had eight three. Oh, wow. now, now he's lying! Now he's lying! Eight deuce would have been he waited all this time till two minutes before Jeff finds out. And now he's saying eight deuce. 30 minute delay on the stream. Stream comes up, and what do you know? He claims a graphics error. It's showing eight three. Oh my god, they did get it wrong. I mean, yes, I have seen plenty of card reader errors. They're actually talking about like people using their. Oh, oh here he goes. <laughs> he's saying they got it wrong. Sure, Chris. Yeah, you didn't have eight three. <laughs> Oh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Chris. <laughs> Shut up. 8 3. Turned an 8 into a bluff because he had blocks, pocket 8s. What the fuck? And it turns out it's not a graphics oh, error. He really had 8 3. And we got bluffed by Chris Moneymaker. $6,000 bet on stream. I'm never going to financially recover from this. I am never going to financially recover from this. All right, uh, I've gotten probably 500 minutes of massages thanks to this great woman right here. And make sure you check her out if you come to Kickers at the Sheraton. She is the best, only a dollar a minute. It's a bargain, worth every penny. Pays for itself, invest in yourself. I'm definitely missing Thank you very much. When you think of hell, I think of 80 degree rooms, bright lights, endless beeping from shot clocks that aren't necessary. And here we are, losing thousands of dollars every hour. When will it end? What are my options? I could just sit out, lose like a man, or I could donate to Moneymaker. Maybe he'll give me half back. Maybe he'll buy my stack for 5K. Let's find out. Three hours left to go. Can't be more tilted. The beeping doesn't stop. Can't handle it. Maybe it's my autism kicking in. The sounds, the constant Chinese water torture. Beep, 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 beep. Crickets. Smoke detector beep. Can't bucket. Take it. Make it stop. It won't stop. Not for another three hours or so. Played a big hand under the gun 375. There's a call on, on the button. We've been five handed pretty much all day. Got pocket kings finally, make it 1200 to go. Got about 12k in my stack. Full call. Clock comes queen, 10, 7, two hearts, one diamond. Definitely going to size up here, very wet board. We have good range advantage. Okay. 
I'm at 2200 setting up the pot size turn jam. Hopefully there's a break on the turn. He does call the 2200 or he can check jam like ace queen or some draw or some shit. I don't know. I got an over pair. I'm just going to go with it. Fucking turns like a deuce of diamonds. All red. Two plus draws out there. He checks. Uh, we block king queen, but we still want to get value from ace queen. And uh, I don't know, whatever the fuck he has. Jacks. 10x with a plus draw. Push up 8,600. And he tank folds. That was the most exciting hand. We have 15,000 coming back for the final level of the 90 minutes. Stay strong and stay hard. With blinds at 75, $150 with an ante. We're five handed. Chris Moneymaker opens to 375. He's been active. I've been tight. I've been slowly bleeding chips for the past few hours. We're in the cage. We can't go anywhere. We can't cash out. About 15 more minutes left to play. I look down in the big blind with A6 of hearts. We put in the call. I have about $10,000 to start this hand. Chris Moneymaker has about 20000 The flop comes. 866, two diamonds. Jackpot. Trips, ace kicker. I check. Moneymaker, C bets, 400 What do you do with trips here? Well, we're going to do what we do with our draws, and that means check raise. What size? 1400 is the total. He thinks for a while and puts in the call. The turn is an offsuit 7. 910 gets there. 95 gets there. 54 gets there. Pocket 7s gets there. Are we worried about those? Kind of. If we bet again, will he call with his over pairs and 8x holdings? Will he continue with his flush draws? I think so, but for some reason I check. Going for that check jam. I thought stacks were perfect if he bets around uh, 2,000, 2,500. Pretty natural 3x or so check jam. But my man Moneymaker sniffs it out and checks behind. The river is a deuce. Time to go for value. What size would we bet with our value and with our bluffs? I think the correct answer is 2,500 USD. We put out a 5k plaque. Chris Moneymaker thinks for a while and eventually puts in the call. We did not want to see a jam. We proudly show the A6 and scoop a huge pot. We're now up over $14,000 with five hands left to play. Let's bag and tag. 14,560 dollars bagged and tagged. We got DJ Dan Let's go. in Five the hours. house. Boom, nice baby. Job, baby. 30K. 30K. Very nice. My favorite masseuse. Come see her. She is the best. Look at, they're like twins. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> and once again, Casey, it was a pleasure. Say hi to YouTube. Yeah, 11 hour day. Was it 11 hours? It's 10 o'clock wow. now. Wow, it didn't seem like it was that long, but it was a good journey and uh, a cash, so thank you. Not a lot, but I'm so thankful in either way. It's over! It's over, bro! He's rocked! He's rocked, bro! Now he's going to. Oh, 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 he can't get up. Oh. It's over! All right, final breakfast. It's kind of like the last dinner. Costa Rica, bet on Drew. Triton, min casher. Uh, final two table Final two Bill Ivy didn't, didn't get that value from bet on Drew, but bet on Drew did get the Lululemon hat. Yep. Max comfort. Max value. Safe travels, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Oh, it's cut him off again. Holy shit. The bike and that guy. Look. Oh, they're going at it. What? Oh, he's pulling on a gun. Something's in his hand. Something's in his hand. Look at this. Holy shit. Look. Let's put it back. <laughs> what the fuck is that?
misiniz? This is just shooting tires out, yeah. Yeah, this is much wilder. Oh, what? Hand signal. Oh, flicking off, and he's gone. 